Hey guys, uh, Danny here. I've got a TED Energy Detective. It's a whole house power monitor, and uh, I believe this one has an embedded Linux server on it, but what's happening is it hasn't been keeping time, so I think I could do a repair video here. Uh, I believe it's got a built-in battery, and most of the time anything that has a built-in real-time clock has a battery, and probably the battery is no good. So let's crack this thing open and see, oh, before we get started, you like my Band-Aid? My uh, kids love Frozen, and that's the only Band-Aid we had. I got a cut earlier today. But anyways, so Olaf will be helping us with this uh, repair video. Uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, this is a TED Energy Detective uh, pow whole house power monitor. And like I said, it's got a real-time clock in it, and it's not keeping the date time, which is vital to keeping the logging because this thing logs uh, my power usage. So we're gonna try to pop this thing open and see if we can repair it. Uh, real quick here, excuse my hands, it's kind of hard to do this on camera. So it's got four screws. Okay, let's pop it open here. All right. All right, let's see here, it says, Energy Inc. Zigbee daughter board. That's pretty cool. So it's, this is a Zigbee radio and it what it does is it has a display module that transmits the video or not the video <laughs> transmits the uh, data from the device to this little display monitor. So let's try to take this thing off real quick. It looks like it is attached. Oh, there we go. I already see kind of the problem, but Let's kind of look at this a little bit more. So this has a coil transformer that takes the mains uh, 115 volts, 60 hertz, and outputs 7.5 volts AC at 307 milliamps. Kind of a cool little design there. It's got a capacitor, I mean, microprocessor, ethernet, pretty simple design. Let's see here. But I think I see the problem already. If you guys look in here, I don't know if you can see this pretty good, but there's looks like some leakage. That that usually happens to, to a battery. Uh, it looks like it just has a little bit of crusties right there. Yep. You can see that. And uh, this is a I think a three point or three volt lithium battery, non-rechargeable. So let me take this board out. And then what we'll do is we'll try to unsolder it and then I'll order this battery from Mauser. And once it arrives, we'll complete the this repair video. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna pop this board out. It's got two screws. See how this comes out here. I don't want to damage it. Okay, yeah. So it's still attached. Definitely there's an oscillator. There's a lot of stuff on this side. Looks good. So this battery is connected at these two points. I should probably have a macro lens, but we're just going to do this quickly. So just bear with me. Get the iron out, get some solder. You know what? I'm gonna switch out the lens, one second. Okay, I'm back. So I switched out the lens. Hopefully you guys can see this better. It might be a little bit bouncy though. So let's try this out. So what I need to do is remove this piece. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of solder on this one and I believe the other one I don't know if you can see it back here, but it's that piece right there. It's got a little bit of the so we're gonna try to get 
under this, and I'm going to try to pull it out. See if we can do this on camera. It's kind of hard. Okay. Let's see. I get it. You guys see that? I'm making a mess of it. Okay, I think we got it. We'll clean that up a little bit. Get out some solder wick here. Perfect. You guys see that there? You got that hole. Let's try to focus. Quite a bit. Oh, we're almost there. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but just a little bit more. I think on the other side, if I flip it over, it'll pick it up. Let's see. I'm going to show you guys how a little bit of patience we can really do it. All right, I think we got it. You get it? For the most part, I think we got it. It's really hard to do this on camera. Let's just do it from this side. Okay. pretty good. So here is the battery. It's just a lithium, probably a CR2032, three volt lithium battery. I'm going to take the dimensions of this and then I'm going to get it ordered up and then we'll stick it in there. Be right back. So one of the things is when you order parts on Mauser, it doesn't make sense just to buy one. So I ordered Ten of them, and there it is. Let's see how it compares. So this is the one that we pulled out, and this is the one that I bought. These are the Panasonic, and I don't really know what these are, but yeah, they line up perfectly. So I'm going to switch back to the macro lens. So let's try putting the battery in there. So we're going to do positive and negative. Just like that. Okay, now this is going to be a little bit tough to show it on camera. So I'm going to flip it over and let's try to get focus. Okay, what we want is you can see one side there and one side there. So hopefully we can get this on camera. In. 
Okay. So we're good here. I'm going to solder, put a little solder there. Put some on the other side. All right, I think we did it. You can see each one of those. Let me try to get that better here. There you go. The other side. Good as new. Okay, I'm gonna switch it back to the other lens and I think we're done. All right, so here it is again, all put together. It looks like the battery's in there. We did the plus side on the right side. So now we'll just reassemble this. Put the little guy down there. I can't see over my hand, sorry about that. So sometimes you can just repair things really easily. This battery was, I want to say like $2, something like that. So yeah, you can just buy the parts and get it repaired in, how long did that take? 20 minutes maybe, plus I had to wait to get the parts. For the most part, it's um, pretty, pretty easy stuff. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna test this thing out. But before we do that, I'm just gonna test out the battery. So let's move the camera over here. Sorry, my bench is kind of a mess. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. And grab the probes. So we're just going to do DC voltage and let's put it on the plus side here, minus side. Yeah, doesn't look that good. Let's grab a new battery. So this is a brand new one. You can see right there, 3.2. This one, 3.2. For, yeah, it's just going all over the place. So I think we fixed it. I'll let you guys know here. Um, I'm going to have to plug it in and set it up and I'll let you guys know. Hope you guys enjoyed this.